We're gonna go to visit um, the, the lodge. The lodge, yeah, the, lodge. the wilderness lodge, yeah. and also um, what is the shopping place oh, called? Oh, Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Yes. So, shopping restaurants. Uh, just a great place to probably hang out at night. So yeah, uh, like I said, we're just here uh, about not quite two days, a big day and a half. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to go into any parks and, and pay any admission. No. Uh, we're just going to show you kind of what you can do if you stay here and you camp here. Uh, what's in the park, and then like Don was saying, what's around the park? Because uh, the trans, if you're staying here, transportation anywhere is free. Yeah. So you can go wherever you want. Um, to all the different places yeah. and the different lodges and different resorts are really cool to check out so yeah. that's what we're going to do today so we're going to scooter around yep. today yep uh, it's a beautiful day here in florida we're glad to be here so we're keep, gonna take off yeah so keep watching randy dawn and a marathon coach have a magical day <laughs> So we are at Fort Wilderness Landing, which is where you can catch the boat to go to the Magic Kingdom or go over to Fort Wilderness Lodge. You can also fish here at Fort Wilderness. It's on a beautiful sunny morning. You see these guys out here. I'm not sure if they've caught anything yet, but let's keep our fingers crossed that they do. Here's our ride. Hey, hi. Morning. Morning. that hotel there is called the Contemporary Hotel. It's kind of cool. You can take the monorail, goes right in through that hotel, around the Magic Kingdom, over to the Polynesian Hotel, and then also over to the Grand Floridian Hotel. So even if you don't go into the park, you can take a nice ride and get a pretty good view of everything that, uh, that it ex expands out into. Here we are. We have arrived at Fort Wilderness Lodge. We're pretty excited to go check it out. So hey, we took this little short boat ride from Fort Wilderness Campground. Yep, where we're staying. And just a short uh, jog against, I think it's a Seven Seas Lagoon. You can hear the whistle on the boat. Um, and then got off here at Fort Wilderness. So you can see it behind us. There's also a swimming kind of activity area for uh, kids and adults with a kid's heart you could say um and it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day here yeah, in orlando. another gorgeous day here in orlando in the 70s so. so we're gonna we're gonna pop inside see what we can film and see what else we can find around here by fort wilderness lodge this place is massive we'll try and find out how many rooms it has this is a little salon it's called salon by the springs As you know, everything at Disney is done just right. From the landscaping, to the architecture, to the characters, to the fun, to the music, to the food. We could go on and on. Another beautiful feature here at Fort Wilderness Lodge. Oh, inside the lodge. Hello, beautiful room. Look at this fireplace. One of the things Randy and I enjoyed about just exploring the property here at Fort Wilderness Lodge is the way the streams all connect together and run through this property. You're going to see streams like this at almost every turn. They even run inside the lodge with a little bubbler. It's, it's a pretty fascinating place to explore. This too is just part of the lodge um, for rooms and it overlooks the Seven Seas Lagoon. And I don't know about you, but I really enjoy watching birds and there are so many different species of birds here. You can just sit and relax Take a breath and just enjoy the peace and serenity of this outdoor space. Hey, we made it over to Disney Springs. Uh, we're just going to stay here for a quick visit, see what's going on. It's early kind of morning, so it's probably a little calmer than normal, which is okay with us too. And of course we have a Christmas tree. Here's just a little view 
of Disney Springs. You can take it as you're at your leisure. Planet Hollywood is right there for dinner. There's a big Coca-Cola store. This is kind of cool. Holiday Disney Springs. For just a little stroll. I'll be honest with you, it's wonderful because there are not many people here. So we're enjoying, we're enjoying all of this. This blue sky, beautiful weather. And you can also take balloon ride way out there, which looks amazing. Don't think we'll be doing that. I'm not a big hike girl, but I, I don't mind watching from down here. They have every sock imaginable here. This is the whole shopping district down here at Disney Springs. All around this little lagoon. The Rainforest Cafe is off there in the distance. And there are tons and tons of restaurants. All Legos. To infinity and beyond. This is the Paddlefish Restaurant. I have eaten in here and it's great food sits in the lagoon. So many places to go, so little time. Hey, good morning, everyone. This good is morning. Randy Dawn in a marathon coat. We are winding up our week out here uh, from Michigan down to Florida. And um, just to recap, we stopped at Anchor Down in Dandridge, Tennessee. That was a great park. That was a, that that was was a great a park. park. We loved it. Um, and you can see a video on that. And then also uh, we've been at Fort Wilderness Resort. Um, we did uh, just day, day things over there, which was great fun. You don't have to spend a lot of money. There's plenty to do, plenty to see. It's just a great place to, to hang out and camp and check out some different restaurants, go to um, Disney Springs. Um, it's a great place to go to and it's just, it's kind of a happy place to be. So we really enjoyed our, our couple days there. We did, we did. And so now we're we're heading to uh, San Antonio, Florida, that's north of Tampa, um, to the Marathon store. So we will be bringing our coach there to get a little tune up here and there, and uh, we'll fly home from there and be back in Michigan. Um, we're thinking through December and then January hits, and it's a busy three months. Yeah. So we'll be on the road a lot. We will, we'll be going to different parks, uh, if you're in Florida, the Tampa Super Show, the Prego Stuff Show, Pelican Lake Show, Riverbend Show. Yeah. Um, lots and lots <laughs> going on. I'm exhausted already. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, if you're in the in the market for a Prevo, a marathon, oh, yeah. um, there's a lot of opportunities for you to come and, and really spend some time. We'll have, you know, some hopefully some pre-owned and some new. Um, it's a great time to buy a marathon. So it is. keep that in mind over the next few months. Yes. Or if, if uh, you're looking to do something by the end of the year, um, look us up. Some good, some good, beautiful coaches. So it should be a good time. Um, and if you do make it to the Tamper Super Show, oh my gosh, look for the marathon display. Come see us. Come see why we're so happy to work for this company and the product that they that they produce for you to enjoy. So. Um, and we'd always, we always love to meet you. Yeah. That's, that's always a great part. So I think that about wraps it up. I think so, yeah. So it's been a good trip. It's nice to be away from the snow and seven degrees and sunny. <laughs> yeah. So we're happy. We're, we're happy. happy. And we appreciate you watching Randy Dawn and a Marathon Coach. See you next time. See you next time.